SmartCross Data Visualizer lets you build an organizational chart automatically simply by importing a data file of your organization's employee list. You will be able to import and display photos and hyperlinks, skip data you don't want included, and show data in a tooltip without cluttering up the visual. Before you can import your data, the list must be formatted with the fields you want to show for each employee as columns and the values for an employee as rows. One of the columns must identify the supervisor of the employee in the row. All of the rows must have a supervisor, except for the top position in the org chart. You can match employees with supervisors using numerical IDs or just names. The table can be in CSV, XLS, or XLSX format. All data visualizers are in one place under the Add menu. Click on the Org Chart option. You can choose between importing data from Microsoft Entra, formerly Azure Active Directory, SharePoint, or import a local file. Select Local File and find your exported file. This loads and parses your file. The parser identifies the matching columns and guesses which columns are the names and title fields. The data visualizer will give you a preview of how we see your data, so you can make some changes if necessary. Each row in the table will add a shape to the org chart. SmartRaw styles and builds your org chart using rules given to each data type. The data type is displayed in the first menu above each column. You can change this type by selecting another option from the drop-down menu. Name indicates that data from this column is set to show in the shape as the first row of text. Title will show up as the second row of text inside the shape. Hyperlink will add a hyperlink to the specified URL inside the shape. You can use this to add links to employee records, for example. Photo indicates that you can add a URL to an image for the person. If a photo column exists, SmartDraw will split the org chart shape so that the left side of the shape will display the photo. Other means that these columns are set to appear in the data layer by default and not inside the shape itself. Once the org chart is built, you can find this information by hovering over the blue eye icon in the lower right corner of an org chart shape. For each column in your data, you have three choices presented in the display menu at the top of each column. You can show the value in the shape by choosing Show in Shape. This might be appropriate for someone's name, title, or telephone number. Move the value to a data layer, which is shown only on Hover, by choosing Show in Data. This might be appropriate for data, like a hire date or employee ID. Hide this value completely by choosing Don't Show. When you're ready, click Import to generate your org chart. If you just leave the defaults as they are, two rows, one for name and one for title, will show in each shape. All other data and columns will be moved to the data layer and shown as shape data. However, you can easily customize this and display as many columns of data as you wish. You can also build your org chart by importing data from Microsoft Entra. Click on Microsoft Entra and log into your account. Once SmartDraw can see your directory, you will be prompted to select which part of the organization to make the org chart for by selecting the manager or supervisor from a drop-down list. Once a manager is selected, you'll be shown some sample data to give you a preview of how SmartDraw sees your organization. For each data type, you choose its visibility for the resulting organizational chart. When you're ready, click Import to generate your org chart. It's that easy to use SmartDraw's powerful org chart data visualizer.